Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome in. Come on in. Let's work on a project. Um, if you're not on my Facebook, uh, not following me on Facebook, right under the description at the top is the link to that. So you can follow me there where I post and will be posting some extra things and also a place for you to message me should you um, need to get in touch with me or have any questions about what I did. So today I'm doing another box. Um, I've spray painted the whole box gold. Um, I have this image that I found of Virgin Mary Guadalupe and um, I had this frame that I used the um, Amazonite resin cast. Um, it was already in my stash. So I glued the picture on the back. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to seal it yet because this is my second one. The first one I did glossy accents and it just had tons of brush marks in it. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do there. Um, and then I also took a slab of, it's it was kind of like scrap black clay um, because I had done gold glitter on uh, foil on it. But I didn't care because um, the theme here is going to be gold. So um, I did a texture stamp and then I did, um, oh duh, Molly, solar gold pearlex mica powders on here. And then I also did, sorry I don't have the mica powder right here, but I have the stickles right here. Then I went over the whole, like, why, are, why can't you see these? There's gold stickles in here. So that's going to be the background. This is going to be on top of that. And then um, I, I stamped out the words adore on the black clay, curved it, put little banner ends on it. And, um, there's a couple things I want to do. This needs to be sealed. Actually, let's start here. So I started on this one corner here. Um, I want to put some blue. So I have the old denim metallic wax. And I want to tie into the blue. The gold is pretty, I don't know, it's just a lot. So I wanted to add some more color. And I, I thought this was the perfect color. You would think we would need something lighter. But I actually prefer this. And I'm going to add rhinestones to this as well at some point. I don't know where I'm going right now. So, isn't that pretty? I got it on a little thick right there, but... Okay. I love it. So then, I wanted to... That's how this is going to look on here. So I have my hat gun... Bloop, 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 bloop. Let's just get the lid out. Oh, so I took this paint, Folk Art Treasured Gold. Um, I took that paint, and that's what this is painted with. So I went over the top of the box. I did it twice. But I left the rest the same gold I spray painted it in, which is the metallic gold from rust -Oleum. It dries in like 10 minutes. It's the most amazing stuff on the planet. All right. So. This is getting hot glued today. I'm not using Weld Bond. Don't ask me why. I just had my hot glue gun on and I'm like, well... That would be nice to just have this done. 
in one fell swoop. Oh, I just did the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Guys, I'm telling ya. Luckily, the back is going to be so much bigger, you won't see this. Ay, 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 is this even? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so there's the background. That That's what's supposed to go on here. God, I'm so glad I caught myself. Good Lord, Molly. My dogs are at it. There's motorcycles going down the street. It's such a nice day outside. Guys, when the summer comes, I don't know how often I'm going to be on here. I mean, I will be on here, trust me. But when living in Ohio, where we have the worst winters on the planet... If you're not a winter person, but your whole family's here and you can't move, because you love them, it sucks. It's depressing. It's so depressing. That's where I find myself down here in my happy place. All right. I just screwed up this whole thing, guys. Let's try this again. Are you enjoying the show so far? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not cutting it out. I want you to see that I'm a normal person just like you guys. This was supposed to be done five minutes ago though. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, push in more glue. Ay, ay, ay. I tell ya. Real life over here. Almost did it again. I'll make sure this is even because that's going to stick down quickly. Okay. Love it. Okay, I already showed you that. Um, oh, I still have blue. Oh, I just touched the blue. But it's all going to be covered. Alright, so. I am just going to go around the edges, but not too close to the edges. Put a big X in the middle. A little extra. Okay. This is not going to go anywhere. I'm sorry, I'm facing it towards me because... I don't have time to fuss around. Okay. It's going to be so pretty. Um, okay, before we do anything else, we'll let that dry. Leave my heat gun on. I want to talk about something. Um... It's been brought to my attention that my the sealer I use, the Pledge Revive It Floor Glass Gloss, is not available anymore. It's been discontinued. The only place you can find it is on Amazon for $129 a bottle. So, um, Cheryl, thank you for matching that to me. You know, shame on me. I should have looked before I started plugging it the whole time. Because it's probably been five years since I bought that bottle. And um, I just, I had no idea they weren't selling it anymore. It's like one of those things you think will be always available. Um, so I did go out. Let me get down here and get this big bottle. Big, yeah, jug. Um, this is what I'm going to recommend as a replacement. And this is what I'm starting to use. It's called Quick Shine. Environmentally friendly. Very safe. I mean, people do this, and then they put their babies on the floor to crawl around. Their pets are fine. So um, this is my recommendation. I tested it, and I feel that it even has a little bit more gloss to, than the Pledge Revive It. So if you like a nice ultra-gloss finish, um, this is what I'm going to recommend. This bottle is like 10 bucks, and it'll last you your whole life. I promise, if you're just using it on clay. But what I did was I took a, um, I had a glass four ounce bottle that I put it in. 
Because, um, I mean, I'm not picking that thing up every time. So, and then i pick that up. I want to gloss the adore. Oh, the one thing I did find is my brushes. They get hard. With the Pledge Revive It, they stayed pretty soft. Um, and I could reuse them every time. So that's kind of a bummer. That's the only bummer I found. Um, it does not smell. There's a small little odor to it, but it's like minimal. I mean, with me, with my allergies, I can't smell it anyway right now, but, um, Pledge Revive, it smelled so good to me. Maybe other people would say, God, that stinks. I loved it. Um, but this has just a slight odor. Um, I've been using it the past few days. I wanted to give it a try. Um, and I just haven't had any issues. I haven't had any headaches. I haven't had any problems with it. So, um... Let's get this dry. I do I just put a lot on here, probably more than I needed. So this might take a minute. But yeah, I was like when Cheryl told me she was trying to find it, and Walmart didn't even say it was discontinued, it just said it was out of stock. But then I went on I, I Googled it and then I got on some craft community pages and they were like freaking out that Pledge Revive it was discontinued. And then I saw on there this quick shine. Um, and it was a community in the UK. So it took me to the UK Amazon. But then once I went back to the regular, you know, United States Amazon, I found it. And it was like nine dollars and something, close to ten bucks. I ordered it right away so I could come back to you guys and say, whoops. But, you know, it's up to you what you want to use, obviously. I'm just telling you, if you want to save, if you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, go to use this stuff. Save your triple thick, your DuraClear, your um, Liquitex finishes. Save those for when you really want that extra dose of um, shine. So, all right, let's put this on. I think somebody's here. My dogs are barking. That sucks. You guys, I started a project this morning and it was a complete flop. I have two clips recorded. I'll tell you about it another time, but right now I just needed to do something and feel like I accomplished something worthwhile today. <laughs> so, I think this is beautiful. Alright, that's the lid. Then, I already rolled out um, clay. So... I'm going to have to go take care of them. Um, but I have this green that's actually in the background. Um, and then I mix, I have the ivory souffle. Come on. It's warm down here. Everybody's sticking together. Um, and it matched perfect to some of the lighter areas in here. Um, I mixed gold with it. Sorry, I mixed gold with it. Then I have my black scrap, and then I did this blue, which I use Cernet Metallic. Uh, I don't have the name of this. Turquoise gold. Um, and I mixed it with regular cobalt blue, just a little bit. And then I did put just a little bit of pearl in it, but it still has the souffle feel to it, which is awesome. Um, I like to use Primo 
when I'm doing mica powders or um, words because it just it just works better. It just does. So, all right, I'm gonna go see what's going on upstairs. Okay, I decided I want to put some rhinestones on this, and I have this color that's really pretty. Um, and I also have some little bit lighter ones in here. So, and I do have the darker ones. Oh gosh, now I'm going to have to make a decision. Okay, so I'm using B7000. There's a lot of B7000s. This is the one in the gold. Okay, this is the best for doing these beads. And it has a precision tip, which is cool. So... I want to start with some little ones, and I'm just going to put a whole bunch on my desk right here, because there's some that are like really tiny, and I got to decide, I'm going to flip them over. The B7000 gives you a little bit of time for it to dry, so that's kind of cool. And when you use super glue, you get a, or you can get, I should say, um, cloudiness. So I want to do one, two, I mean, I barely have to touch it, three. And then I have this, um, pen. I got rid of my wax pencil because it was leaving white wax on top of everything. Just three in that corner. See how it shines? I'm going to do that with every corner. I'm going to put my glue down in all of the areas. And then I got to dig through and find the size. Oops, I think that was too big. It's fine. I actually like the bigger one down there, so I'm going to take this one off. Yeah, that works really good. Should do big, big. All right, I will go ahead and put this on fast forward because I got to pick through here. Um, and I think you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. It might stop and come back. Okay, so I finished putting all the rhinestones on. Look at how this glitters. They're so pretty. Um... I decided I want to paint the top of the sides with the same gold that I did on the top because you're still going to see through some of it. So I'm going to use the Folk Art Treasure Gold, which is what I used on the top. And I just want to paint these real quick. They will just take a minute. Um, and I worked on some tiles, so I need to share with you the tiles. Okay. 
One of my rhinestones just fell off. Oh, great. I've got to figure out which one it was. I think I grabbed it too hard with my hand, but that's okay. I'd rather have it fall off when it's with me rather than with someone else. Because it's an easy, easy fix for me. I um, bought some more of these boxes and one of them, the lid wasn't cut off of the bottom. It's just a box. Like, hello? Uh, I wasn't too happy about that because these are about five bucks a piece. So, off of Amazon. So that really stunk. And then I had one come with a broken lid. I've really had good luck with these boxes, as long as you know ahead of time that they're not exactly square, so the lid's only going to fit on one way, and you sometimes have to sand the inside down a little bit. Um, as long as you know that, you're good. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and then I started working on the feet, and... Um, they're going to, you know, go, so this is going to attach to the bottom of the box. I'm going to also do the gold on the top, the little people's heads. These are just from Amazon. I will try and remember to find the link. I ordered a lot because I do a lot of boxes. So if I put the link in, it's going to be to... A pack of like a hundred of these or 50 I don't know a lot I'm not gonna worry too much down here where the two colors meet because I am gonna put rhinestones around I really want this to look really blingy I think Mary deserves that so that's one and then these will have to be sealed once they're all dry I just painted the black. I use the Americana Lamp Black. It's the same black that I use in my other videos. Um, it goes on in one coat and it is dries very quickly. It's just like my favorite black paint. Even over the more expensive paints, it's still my favorite. Watch, they'll discontinue that too. Nah. I don't think they will. Guys, I went right to Deco Art to buy paints. And if you can't find them on sale at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, or there's a certain color that seems to be out everywhere, I needed pink. And I went to their website, and I think they were like $3 and something a bottle, which it's not $1.99. Like, we found them on sale at Hobby Lobby, but... Um, it sure beats Amazon's pricing. And I got them. I don't think it was the next day. I think it was two days. It was fast. I mean, lightning fast. I was happily surprised. Because the nice thing about Amazon is you know you're getting it in a day or two. Or sometimes the same day. And, uh. When you're ordering from, a, you know, the actual manufacturer, you don't know. And I, when I order my clay, f sorry, somebody's screaming on the TV. Um, when I order my clay from Sculpey, directly from Sculpey, I get that pretty quickly too. So, um, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to let these do their business and dry over here. Um, water. So let's put this paint away. And then I want to show you the tiles I did. Um, So these are the ones I did. 
I did that ivory mixed with gold color and then I put gold over the top. That'll go nicely. Um, this was my green. And I used a blue-green mix of mica powder. And so it really darkened it. Um, so no, no, what I think of that. So we'll see. And then I just did some more gold because I want it kind of fancy. And then this is the blue that I did. And the mis mishap that happened was I put on the mica powder that looks like it's going to be tan. But it came out looking pink depending on what angle. Because it has that shift in it. But I'm just going to roll with it. Because there's a teeny, I can't pick up the lid. There's a teeny, teeny, teeny um, sidebar that that might go with. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to go away and come back for this part, <coughs> is I'm going to start building the sides. And I have to be trimmed. So let me go play with this and then I will be back to show you what that looks like and we'll go from there. Hey guys, I have all the tiles done, but I have a confession to make. I got going and forgot I wanted to record the last section of it so <laughs> it's all done um i apologize for that but i think you've all seen this those that you watch me enough have seen this enough to know uh how these go um i do similar sizes and layouts and i did use my gold rhinestone and i also use the gold um stickles for any areas where I couldn't get any filler in, but I felt were just a little too big to be left alone. Um, so I did all the sides on here. Um, this, so this will be the front side. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was really nervous of how close these two blues and greens were together, but they worked out perfectly. I really think the golds and the ivories broke it up. Um... And this pink, as it turned out, isn't bothering me. Because, again, if I switch it, it looks like an ivory color. It just depends on your color shift that you have. Um, so, again, this being the front, I want to add... I had um, this that I wanted to add to the front. And then I want to put gold rub and buff over it. It did have the little um, circle hook on top. Um, for necklaces and I, I cut that off because I don't I, I mean I don't need it for this so I was thinking that would look really pretty just right in the dead center so I have my heat gun on Let's see if it's ready here yeah oh I probably put too much glue on here darn it and it's upside down um, just dead center and I want it to cover three tiles so it just looks really kind of abstract it's a little off up and down but dead center side to side so that'll look really pretty and then here I'll turn it around for you um, I'm gonna grab the gold rub and buff this is um, gold leaf, is the color. See how that cross just pops? And I'm gonna go around the outside. I got some on the inside, that's okay. It's just fine by me. I think that that really helped to make that pop a little bit more, having those highlights in there. Now, let me get a wipe for my finger. Um, the other thing that we were talking about was I did... Um, I did the legs. And 
I don't know where we left off. I'm sorry. But I did put the rhinestones around the neck, if you will. And it was so easy to do. You just put B7000 around it. And then you drape. As long as you cut them ahead of time. I cut all four ahead of time. I knew exactly I needed ten beads. And so now I have that blink on the bottom. So I want to go ahead and do the bottom of the box. So if this is the front, and I'm probably going to want to go this way. So I have a seal that's a stamp I found at Hobby Lobby. It's out of stock right now, and then I sign it for one of a kind. Um, and I put that on 99% of my projects. If there's um, something where it would get in the way of what I worked on, I will not do it. But I think it's important to sign, and I want to do a little something special. So for those of you that have seen this before, you're going to know the method to the madness here. So to glue on the legs, we want to do hot glue in the middle, right? Because that's going to give us an, an immediate hold. And then we're going to do B6000. I'll show you the battle in a minute. I've always used E6000, but B6000 has worked out so well. And it has a precision tip, so I'm not going to move from it. So I just want to get that kind of centered there. So I'm going to do this for all four of them. I'm okay that the glue is coming out on the bottom, and I'm going to tell you why. I've been stingy in the past where I don't want any glue coming out on the bottom. And guess what? You don't have enough glue. Things fall off. Um, it's not... Uh, I'm just trying to get this even. Those are cute. Um, it really sucks. So I would rather have, and it dries clear. And I mean, it's obvious that there's a glue um, puddle. It's not even a puddle. I'm being kind of mean to myself. But that's what You know, I don't know how else to explain it. And this one's a little much. You can paint over it. You can touch this up as much as your little heart desires. Um, I just feel when it's on the bottom, it's expected that your legs have been glued on. And you might have some of that. Because it's handmade. Okay? This isn't coming out of a factory. I have to remind myself of that all the time. I don't know about you guys, but we just got to stop beating ourselves up. I, I do it all the time. Um, B6000. That's what I was using with my hot glue gun. That for beads. I know that bees first be for beads, but you got to use the gold one. Oh, and I use liquid bakes. I, I love this sealer, this um, varnish, uh, Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gloss Varnish. Um, I use it. I have uh, probably still like this much in my bottle. Um, and that's what I use for my legs. It's so shiny and it dries quick. Why am I not using the other varnishes and sealers? I don't know. This is just the one I've always used and I trust and I like. I don't have another explanation for you on that. Um, let me unplug my heat gun. So, here we go. Get my big fat stomach in there. All right. So, here we go. The top with all, and I did replace the one um, rhinestone that fell off, so that's done. 
all the sides. This is the front. So you have the adore and then the front. And then you have the legs. So I think this turned out to be a pretty darn cool piece. And um, the project is actually done. I'm working on some other cool stuff. I know this is this one was kind of like um maybe very familiar for you other than a different theme i am going to continue to do boxes those will always be on my page but i try to break them up with other stuff um and i have a couple other little things that we're going to be working on soon um i just don't know when i'll get them up i'm hoping within the next few days but um you know i mean I have a full-time job, so this is my love. This is my life. This is what I, where I come to relax and do things. Um, but I have responsibilities as well, so, you know, I don't know why I got into all that. But I will be back, and we will be doing some different stuff. Um, again, um, I'd like you to join my Facebook page. So if you can follow me on there, if you haven't already, it's right under my description of my page it's the first link there and um i would love to see you there all right guys i'll see you very soon bye okay i wasn't done and i know this isn't the first time i have done this to you guys um i forgot about the lid and the sides of the lid and i found this rhinestone fabricy kind of stuff on amazon and it actually is going to fit perfect on here. So I'm going to glue this on. And I'm going to use hot glue. And I have to lean the box up against, or, or the lid up against the box because, um, it's so top heavy it just tips right over on me so I want to get down in every little angle let me grab one of my needle tools and make sure the fabric in between is laid down and I want it as centered as possible okay but look it fit just where it will turn mm. I'll just stretch. Oh gosh, I hope I don't run into a problem now. Wouldn't that be something? I'll cut it off when I get to the other side. It's working so far. I thought I messed up on that first run. This is just going to bling it out to the point where I want it. Like, you know I love my bling. But. Now I need to cut this off. right here oh it's chain it's not um fabric it felt like fabric okay I should have enough to do one more box with that and i'm gonna be short a little bit so oh man just when i thought everything was perfect okay and I need more glue. All right, that's an easy fix. I don't know about this sucker. I think it's close enough. I'm not happy about it, but I think it's close enough. 
Look at this thing shine. It's just shining all over the place. Where's the front? Okay. I'll do a photo for you guys. Now we're really done. I promise. I promise. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys soon.